we just come to you and we thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for uh, your, your goodness and your graciousness, Lord. We um, just ask that everything we do tonight be pleasing to you, Lord. Be with our, our nation. Be with our country. Be with our leaders. Lord, um, we just pray and we thank you for this opportunity we have to, to make decisions um, about Smith Station, Lord, and about the, the community here and the citizens. Lord, we just um, pray for those that are sick, Lord. We pray for those that are, um, have needs. You know each and every one of them. So, Lord, we just give that to you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I call Mr. June 27th, 2021 City Council meeting to order. City of Smith Station, Alabama. The time is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Ms. Green, for saying the prayer. Thank you, Mr. Lansman, for leading our pledge. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. At this point in time, can I have a roll call vote to establish a quorum for us to do business? Yes, sir. Mr. Stringer? Here. Mr. Jackson? Yeah, here. Mr. Lansman? Here. Mr. Cooley? Here. Ms. Green? Here. <coughs> Mayor Copeland? Here. Moving forward, you received the minutes from the June 8th, 2021 meeting via E as well as digital, co digital copy as well as hard copy. Are there any additions or corrections? Make a motion the minutes be accepted as is. Okay. Ms. Cooley, thank you. We have recommendations from the Planning Commission. Ms. Green, seeing as you're the liaison with the Planning Commission. Um, yes. We have a request to rezone the properties on Lee Road 246 from a C1 commercial general to an R1 single family residential and R2 residential multifamily. Um, the properties are listed below. You've heard the introduction by City Councilwoman Ms. Green. I get a motion and a second. Motion approved. Mr. Cooley. I'm not, this is, this is just a recommendation. Um, yeah, okay, Ms. Cooley, and then second, I get a second? Second. Second, Mr. Lansing. Any discussion? I want to thank the Planning Commission for their diligence. They worked hard on this, had public meetings, and had public input, and was very considerate of the public's recommendations. And uh, being uh, being on the commission is never easy, and I, I thank you for the hard work you guys put into it. Moving, uh, I have a roll call vote. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes. All right. Moving forward, amendment the historical commission bylaws at the point of two new members. Mr. Bryce, been as your liaison on the historical commission, could you address that, please? Yes, sir. The Smith Station Historical Commission recommends the following remove LaFay Dellinger as a member of the historical commission. Appoint LaFay Dellinger as a supernumerary member of the Historical Commission. Remove Mayor F.L. Bubba Copeland as his one year term on the Historical Commission has expired. Nominate Brian Coker to be chairman of the Historical Commission. Appoint Jill Hardy and Mary Goblin to replace Copeland and Dellinger on the Historical Commission. And then bylaws to hold bi monthly meetings instead of quarterly and add a designated supernumerary member to the Historical Commission. I have a motion to second to approve this. Motion to approve. Cooley. Second. Mr. Jackson. Any discussion? All right. A roll call vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland. Well, I noticed an error here. We have to move seven to eight, eight to seven before we can nominate those people. Oh, we have to have, to have a first and second reading as well. I should have called that earlier. Okay, do uh, you want to redo the? No, no, no. I just want to make sure we do it right. Okay. So let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, make a motion we send rules and ordinances resolution so we can address these issues tonight. Okay, thank you. Mr. Cooley's made a motion to spend the rules and ordinances and move forward. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Lansing. Any discussion? The reason why I did that to you guys is we are going to nominate someone, therefore putting it into law, so we have to put Either have a first and second or have suspended rules of order. At this time, I'd like to go to number eight now. Nominate Jill Hardy and Mary Gobble to be new members of the Historical Commission. 
That's pretty straightforward. So, can I get a first and a second? Motion. Good. Second. Last. Any discussion? I appreciate these guys wanting to volunteer their time. Both of these are very knowledgeable ladies that love the city of Smith Station. Jill's actually a fire person. Any discussion? I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Cook? Yes. All right, now we pass these in ordinance. 2011, it was 175.48 rezoning of properties on Lee Road 246, Missoula Commercial, and general to R1 residential single family and R2 residential multifamily. We've already read that, so can I get a motion a second? Motion to approve. Mr. Jackson, second. Mr. Stringer. Again, thank you, Planning Commission, for your hard work. Any other discussion? I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes. 2018-151.3, an ordinance to amend the Historical Commission bylaws. We've read that. Can I get a first and second? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Yeah. Any discussion? Thank you for Mr. Faye for serving on that. Thank you for being a supernumerary on that. I can have a vote, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? <coughs> Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes. Resolution 2021-420. Accept bid and enter into a contract with GNA General Contract LLC for construction of public works facility building. We introduce that to us, Mr. Bryce. Yes, sir. Uh, resolution 2021-420, a resolution for the city of Smith Station, Alabama, authorizing Mayor Copeland to accept the bid and enter into a contract with GNH General Contractors, LLC, for the construction of a public work facility building. Can I get a motion to second? Motion to approve. Mr. Cooley, can I get a second? Second. Second, Mr. Lance, any discussion? One question that let me ask before we we'll move off to this. After reviewing the plans, we were able to shave off that 7,000. I believe that's 47,000. How much? Was it, what did you say, 37,000 or 47,000? 37,000, $950. And they added that 10,000 from the insurance bond. Okay, I just remember 47,000. Yeah. I, the page I see, Mr. Jackson, I'll pass it to you if you'll pass it right back to me. Look at the bottom number on total savings. You see 47,000. Okay, with the savings of revised bid of 447,000. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? I'll sign it. Mr. Jackson? Uh, yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes. Moving forward to 2021-428, accept bid to enter a contract with Burris Lawn Services for Lee Road 536 improvements. Uh, resolution 2021-428, a resolution for the City of Smith Station, Alabama, authorizing Mayor Copeland to accept the bid and enter into a contract with Burris Lawn Services for Lee Road 536 improvements. Thank you for the introduction of 2021-428 at a total cost of $19,126.30. make a motion to accept. Ms. Green? Second. Mr. Lanston? Any discussion? I'd like the council to know the Water Authority has already moved the water lines here, and they're going to call for a locator to locate that and make sure that, that everything's taken care of over there, and this project should start when? Uh, tomorrow, if everything goes to one plan. And that tomorrow means they're going to locate and all that. Yes, and hopefully have the project done no sooner, no later than July 2nd. Okay. All right. Hmm. Any other discussion? I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes.
Next, item number 2221-429, opposition to any proposed future core developments. I'd like to read this one. A resolution from the mayor and city council of the city of Smith Station, Alabama, opposing any core development in the Smith Station city limits. Motion to approve. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Stringer. Uh, I'd like to make a matter of public knowledge on, on camera to the people that are watching this. The city of Smith Station is uh, gone on the offense inside our city limits as well as our planning jurisdiction to oppose any quarry that should come this direction or try to come this direction. And we will pursue uh, any means necessary to stop uh, mining in the city of Smith Station or in our, in our city uh, planning jurisdiction. Any other discussion? I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Bethel? Yes. 2021-430 Master Service Agreement with ESG for on-call public works ground maintenance and related issues. We introduce that to Mr. Yes, sir. Resolution 2020. Uh, Resolution 2021-430. A resolution for the City of Smith Station, Alabama, authorizing Mayor Copeland to enter into a Master Services Agreement with ESG Operations Incorporated for on-call public works, ground maintenance, and related services. You've heard the introduction of 2021-430, Master Service Agreement with ESG for on-call public works, ground maintenance, and related services. Can I get a motion and a second? Motion approved. Mr. Billy, can I get a second? Second. Ms. Green. I'd like to know that at some time in our history as we grow, um, ESG is already currently our engineering partner, and now they'll be our um, uh, public works partner, our operations partner as well for any issues that may arise, such as a uh, March 3rd tornado or anything that's bigger than, than we can handle. Um, and it's just part of our overall growth as a city of Smith Station. Yeah, that's one thing, and I, I was going to test it on the question, but we never did get to it before we voted on it. If ESG doing this right here, uh, we have several big roads mm -hmm. inside of the city of Session and, and of course we don't have the equipment to keep those roads like graded or whatever in that nature there. Is it any way feasible, if there's any way possible that we can, uh, and they have that equipment to use uh, those people for doing this, all outside contract? We possibly could, but we've ordered a box blade back in uh, August of last year that goes on our skid steer. And the box blade is eight foot wide, and we have intentions of doing our dirt roads ourselves. But due to COVID, the box blades are backed up. So we've already ordered it, already purchased it, and it should be here any time and to do what you're asking, talking about doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been on the offensive on that, but yes, um, I'm keeping an eye on our roads, and if it gets to the point where we need help, we'll get a contractor to do it. And we had that happen on the road over there by the park. What's the number on that one? The one we had to do that heavy work on. New Neelius Church Road. Right? New, New Neelius 587. Well, it's, it's like that right now. It's, it's, it's just like a road bolt through there. And, and I'm getting a lot of complaints about it as well, too. So uh, we can talk about it and look into it and try to get something to end about that uh, until we can get uh, the money and the funds to uh, uh, pave that road. All right. Certainly consider that. Any other discussion on 2021-430? No man brought forth, I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes. This time I'd like to introduce our CFO, Ms. Brenda Dockery, <coughs> Human Resources Director. Is that the, 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 you have to be a state license to have a license to work on the old suit to fill them in? At a certain number. If you get to the point of uh, 50000 or above... No, it was, it was just like filling fill the pothole. No, you do not. You just, now, if we have a $50,000 pothole, yes. I'm going to say, but it's, it's not a $50,000 pothole. I know, I'm just saying. You know, if you, get, if you just got pothole, mm -hmm. then you'd be filled. If somebody said come in and fill them for $500, $1,000, will that be feasible with the city that they do and do a good job? We do that already, and yes, if somebody come to me and said, I'm interested in getting the pothole business, I'd have to look into it and uh, see what the, the value of it is. And if it was going to deem that that value would be over $15,000, i would have to bid that value out. 
but they won't have to have a special license, no, because 20 potholes may be 4,000. 100 potholes may be 5,000. You know, it, it's, it's, it varies. So I see exactly what you're saying, but if you have somebody that's come to you that's an official pothole filler, please give them my number. Okay. <laughs> no, it, 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 I can feel 15 or 20 potholes for you for 1500 dollars they going to have to show me one of some of their work first. At this time, I'll introduce our CFO, Ms. Brenda Dockery, to go over our profit and lost budget performance for City of Smith Station from May of 2021. Income for the month of May 2021, at taxes was $7,333.41. Total business license income was $3,534.66. Franchise fees received $19,234.57. <clears throat> Gas tax distribution was $2,206.29. Rebuild Alabama, $3,749.95. To total property rental was $5,462.47. Total sales and use tax was $83,211.16. Total wholesale gasoline revenue, $16,886.32. Expenses, total expense for the um, administrative department was $34,534.71. Total for the finance department was $18,246.26. Total for the Parks and Recreation Department was $17,425.13. Total Public Works Department, $34,388.51. Uh, our net income was $40,377.90. Ms. Dunker, I'm sorry I'm not asking you this question prior to this tonight, but I see on page one, under wholesale gasoline revenue, but there's zeros for the loves. Have you not received the payments yet, or? We have. Um, I will have to go back for the report. It looks like they lumped the two together, back to that. Okay, because I, I know it looks like they're two lumped together. If you don't mind, the next time pull those apart, just for um, purposes, thank you. Any other discussion on the budget? Any other questions on the budget? I have a motion to accept. Oh, no, we don't have to do that, though. Do yeah, you do. Motion to accept. Second. Okay. Second. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much Thank for your hard work. And I'm proud of you for all you've overcome. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Number 12, general business event request for the beginning of July 10th, 1 to 5 p.m. for Easter, Easter baby shower. And the event request will be in on July 17th for 3 and 7 p.m. Family and friends party. Do you mind if we lump those two together? All right. I'd like to make an entertaining motion. We lump A and B together without a 12. Can I get a motion? Motion. Ms. Cooley, can I get a second? Second. Second, Ms. Green. Any discussion? Anybody don't want to have a baby shower or a party? <laughs> All right. Call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanskin? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Cutman? Yes. At this time, I'd like to remind everyone that this Saturday at 3 to 9, we'll have our, we'll have our Founders Day 20th anniversary celebration that Mother Nature wanted to postpone. Um, if anybody has, if a wants to float, doesn't have a car, or wants to ride in the parade, Miss uh, Lisa Deacon has asked me to remind you that you can still do that. The parade's going to start at the school, line up at 3 and leave at 3.30 in the softball, baseball field parking lot. We'll be the parade and we'll come back, we'll have a car show, we're having a cooking contest with cakes, pies, as well as a barbecue, uh, pork butt, ribs, and chicken. Uh, then we're going to have a live DJ that'll be entertaining people. We'll have several uh, blow-ups, a train, swing park will be open. Uh, some of the food trucks have pulled out. We've got some new food trucks going to be here. And then at 9 o'clock, we're going to have fireworks. It's going to be a fun day to be with your family and friends and hang out and, and just uh, something to do inside the Cisco Station. Um, I thank you all for your hard work. Uh, this was a big agenda. 
And uh, as the city grows, the agendas get longer, and, and this is quite an accomplishment that tonight to have all this. Any other public comments? I'd like to also acknowledge that this past weekend was the Juneteenth, and the city administration flew our flag on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, it was a last minute holiday, so we had to move quickly. And so our new employee, Cammie Billingsley, got on the line and ordered a flag that came in two days. And uh, we commemorated the new holiday. And next year, we'll they'll have more time to, to commemorate that holiday. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to just also say that we did put the time capsule in the ground today. Yes. Um, so in 20 years, we hope that uh, we'll open that and uh, get to see some things that have gone on this past year. So thank you for doing that. I think that was a great a great idea. It's right behind the, well, I don't know if you're supposed to Jones store. Jones, Jones store. So. Yeah, we're getting a, a plaque, a, a brick that says, Swiss Time Council, that was placed and they're not open until uh, June 22nd, 2040. And uh, Morgan reminded me today that he'll be almost 40 some odd years old then. <laughs> I'm really old. <laughs> So Morgan's responsibility would be to come back or be here to open that up for us. So, um, I like anybody else any public comments on I'll get anybody. I'd like to recognize CTV Beam, my good buddy Chris Gates, for being here always. And uh, I'd like to entertain a motion with adjourn. Move that this meeting adjourn. Yeah, second. Meeting adjourn.